Okay, we've got the camper closer. What we've got is seven coats of roof coating on it. And I did about two coats of truck liner, just black uh, bed liner, uh, spray cans. And then I went and flex sealed some of the corners, some of the edges with flex seal. And then I've painted the whole thing flat black. And we're getting ready to stencil a graphic on the side. I have also insulated a little bit. This is a two inch foam board overhead and then half inch on the walls. And then I went around with foam spray and did some of the corners where it's a little thinner at. And yeah, it's coming along nice. Yeah, this is all built with scraps and I've took the top bunk bed, I've took it out because we're actually going to take this thing out to Arizona and Colorado. But uh, here's the ropes that actually holds the bunk bed over here. And the bunk is just removable, the whole thing removes and take it out. And the bottom is big enough, we're putting a full size bed mattress in this. So this is going to be pretty awesome guys. Um, I've just got my truck back out of the shop, getting everything serviced, so we're going to put this on the truck and put some eye bolts in it and get it bolted down. And we'll paint the latches black, I haven't done that. And we're going to put the stencil on the side. Yeah, we had a little, there's a couple little pinholes that were in here. I think I've got them all filled now that were leaking. We had a decent rain. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and shoot some of the flex seal that I've got flex seal and we'll shoot it with some more flat black. Make it match. Yeah, that should be awesome. When it's sitting on the truck, we should be able to see right through the window. And even with the door closed, we see, see right through the window of the door so we can at least tell if the car's behind us. And this is just made out of OSB because it's what I had left over from some jobs. So just utilize the materials that I had. So if I was going to build these for someone or for a customer, you know, I would go and buy plywood and stuff. But if they wanted to go the cheap way, we can go OSB, which would cut down on the cost some. But OSB with a Rhino liner, bed liner, and flex seal. I don't think it's going to leak at all. I think it's going to hold up good.